The biggest challenge facing the smallholder farmers in Indonesia is in every aspect of the farming itself. The limitation in the knowledge about the latest technology, limitation on the infrastructure. They have to ride a motorbike for two hours to reach the closest agriculture kiosk. And then the severity of the change in the weather a pattern that will influence the farming. Food security is a big topic here. So are the healthcare topics around women's health and also reducing of stunting. All of these are challenges that can be um, sought after and we have to uh, overcome them using the businesses that we have. Think of these centers as centers of excellence for that area. They are embedded in the community and the smallholder farmers can approach these centers not just for products but also for education and healthcare. equip the family farmers with education on the nutrition and that is the true wealth when they invest in the overall physical health and the mental health of the children and the other member of the family. The ability of that family to get good nutrition is directly impacted by economic status and that in turn is impacted by the productivity of the agricultural operations that they run. So it's kind of an ecosystem approach that works the best rather than isolated approaches. Partnerships are really important, whether it is with the government or it is with the NGOs or even with the community. It's been a great journey so far and we do hope that we'll be able to reach 4 million smallholder farmers by 2030.